Gay marriage has just been legalized throughout America. But more importantly, I got all my hair cut off. So I'm already a huge disappointment to my family. Why not get some tattoos with this new haircut? My family considers themselves pretty religious. And I mean, we all know the gays are just such a freaking sin. There's not even a debate about that. I mean, freaking queers. So I thought, why not get some tattoos of Bible verses? I mean, I'm writing down the words of God here. My parents are gonna be so proud. Yes! This is a really good one. Yes! This is my first tattoo. I permit no woman to teach or to have authority over a man. She is to be kept silent. Timothy 2.12. This, I, re I really don't have any words for this. Oh, Leviticus, yes, God. This is my next tattoo. Let me swerve for you. Oh shit, this is it. You shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Leviticus. I'm thinking of maybe putting this tattoo not so much on my thigh, but just on my ass. I just feel like it'll have a little bit more meaning, like Leviticus my ass. So, just an idea I'm throwing out there. Let me know what you think. Next tattoo. Cute. Oh yes, let me swallow all my sins. Next tattoo really means a lot to me. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. Ephesians 522. You know, that I mean, that really makes a lot of sense. Like, why would a woman and a woman or a man and a man want to be together? When really just as a woman, you can just be a slave to a man, as you will be for Jesus. I mean, this book just makes a lot of sense. I don't know how many years I have left to fulfill my wifely duties. Like, I need to find a man. Uh, duh. My name's Amanda. Oh, this is definitely a wrist tattoo. I feel Jesus in my veins. This is my next tattoo. I abbreviated it because Jesus went a little went a little long on this. Look, I have two daughters, virgins, the both of them. Let me bring them out to you and you could do what you like with them. But do nothing to these men because they have come under the shelter of my roof. Like just, yeah. I mean, God forbid these women speak and really just fulfill your wifely duties to your man as a slave would, but really just do what you want with them. <laughs> Those virgins. Praise the Lord. Oh my gosh. Peter 2.18, yes. I'm gonna actually put it on my knee, just so every time I'm down on my knees, praying. So every time I go down and think of Jesus, I'll be able to just remember this uh, this next verse from Peter 2.18. If I die before I wake. Yes, mommy, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Okay, it's um, it's done. Slaves, accept the authority of your masters with all deference. Not only those who are kind and gentle, but those who are also harsh. For it is to your credit, if being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. Peter 2.18. <sighs> I mean, we've got these queers tweeting hashtag love wins. We should really all be like Jesus. Hashtag slavery rocks. You know, these are all just really, really special to me. I am certain that every Christian home, including my own, will love to see me serving up some Bible realness. Yes! I hope you all learned a little something today about the Bible. I'm pretty sure no one did though, because we already knew all these things, right? On a serious note though, guys, hashtag love freaking wins. I was inspired to do this video by a very old Tyler Oakley video that I came across, and you should definitely go check it out. It's very inspiring. I hope you're all safe and in a really good place. As always, everyone, my name is Amanda, and you have just been manhandled. God has manhandled us all. I love you. Bye. I never went to prom, and look at me. I'm a huge success. Not about the life. Oh, yes, mommy.